As a believer, this set me free from assuming that I must be in my 30s and 40s and 50s before anything serious begins to happen to our lives. I realized early by the mercy of God like many people you know in my generation I begin to realize that you don't have to wait before serious things begin to happen through your life for the glory of God. Did somebody hear what I'm saying? You decide. The Bible says you seek me and find me. But you seek me with the whole of your heart. If that happens in 2035, when will you find him? Somebody please answer me. What if it happens in 2050? When will you find him? What if I called you out now? Esther, come. And you came out. Your roommates know you. They can't believe the word of knowledge just spotted you out. And now you have come out. Hands have been laid on you. And, you know, dramatic prophetic words were given, like it was given to me in 2013, about the things God would do in your life. If you start responding in 2055, when will it start coming to pass? As I'm standing here, there are pregnancies all over this hall. Some of them are five years due, some ten years due. They passed the nine months span since. And this singular light is going to help somebody here to give birth to these promises as soon as possible. Is somebody here what I'm saying? You know? So there's something that's greater than prophecy. Before I say what it is, what's prophecy capable of? Look through the scriptures. God did nothing until it was what? Until it was spoken. Even the coming of Jesus. Thank you so much. It is the echo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Even the coming of Jesus had to be what? Prophesied. That is his way. That is his order. It will be spoken. Then it will come to pass. He does nothing until he reveals to his servants the what? The prophet. What's the purpose of that? So it can be what? Prophesied. It was through prophecy that the blessing was transferred from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob and so on and so forth. He released it through words that were charged. And when that thing lands on you, I'm sure you know there was no physical, you know, tangible thing that Abraham gave as inheritance to Isaac. Yes or no? Even if there was, I'm sure you know that's not what made Isaac rich. Yes or no? What made Isaac the dangerous person he was? It was those prophecies, those declarations, the blessing. That's what made barren lands become what? Fruitful. So as things are declared, people shift location. Of course, it's according, listen, a person can't bring you to a location he is not currently in. No matter how he's shouting, no matter how you are shouting. That's why things like this are set up by the mercy of God. I can't forget the struggle my father had doing mighty miracles all over the place, but only within the boundary of Nigeria. He became uneasy. Why is this thing not moving beyond this nation? went or traveled, traveled many miles to meet a man of God which I'm sure everybody here has heard about before and told the man I need deliverance and he is a deliverance minister asking for deliverance so the man laughed and said how can deliverance minister be needing deliverance eat and sleep we will talk so he ate and slept woke up the next day the man was cooking breakfast again he said sir you don't understand you are not taking me seriously. I traveled all the way with my wife so I can be delivered. And the man was laughing, making breakfast. At the end of everything, he said, Reverend, eat. 
when he finished eating, he declared to him, doors of nations open in Jesus' name. Listen, listen, listen. I'm telling you a story. Now, those utterances brought him from where he was in his location. To which location? To the location that man was literally standing in. And before the week was over, two calls. That's what makes this whole thing funny. Where were those angels all these years? Hallelujah. Now, I said all that to explain to you how powerful prophecy is. But there are one or two things, because of time, I'll probably touch only one. There are one or two things that are greater than prophecy. When I say prophecy, I'm talking about, you know, the release of prophetic words, word of knowledge, and so on and so forth. You know. Because there are many of us who don't feel we have been touched until something like that happens. Yes or no? Yes or no now? That's the only reason why words will be released. You will shout Amen. And still meet the pastor after to lay hands on you because you don't believe what was said. Yes or no? Come on, yes or no? Even after the hands have been laid on you in the meeting. Let me say something quickly. The higher the measure of faith, quote and unquote, because the measure has been given to every one of us, is the same measure. But as you reduce your doubt, your faith what? Come on, are we together? So, for those of you who are very theologically balanced, that you cannot hear English, I mean, who are you? So I know, don't worry. Unless they are not here. So it's the measure of faith. But as you fast and as you pray, you shut down your what? Your doubts. And so the measure what? Increases. So when somebody says he has more faith than the other, and you have problem. Just choose as a believer to ensure that your life is simple. Don't complicate your work. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm hoping I don't get distracted as I'm speaking because it's those feedbacks that is affecting my utterance. I'm getting the feedbacks. Uh -uh. So, please, that's why I like to leave the, the notes or else. I want to answer those feedbacks. Jesus, hearing, responded to them as they were thinking it, not saying it or just in it. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, if you will be maximally blessed, then all questions must be what? Answered, irrespective of what was prepared. Hallelujah. We have leaders, right? In the house, right? Okay. So, as I was saying, what was I saying, sir? Shuts down doubt. Yeah, I was going somewhere with everything. There's something stronger than what? Prophets. Is that where I was? Okay. So I said, no matter how dramatically it happened, mine was dramatic. Bishop Wale, okay, some of you have heard the story. Ministry, finished ministry. Looked at me on the keyboard. I think the way I touched it, it activated his, you know, he's a prophet, not a bishop. I don't know if you are aware of that. Okay. So it activated the thing. And he looked at me. I was afraid. I froze. And he walked up towards me. Put his face towel on my head. That was, if that is all that happened. I don't know if you have hammer. So I was like, wow. Wow, it's happening. It's always beautiful when the spotlight. Yes or no? Listen, you would think you believe. That's the reason for word of knowledge. You see, in past faith, you would think you believe until your name is called. As a sister here, you have something on your left lung. Jesus is healing you now. The moment the word comes, at the same time, faith is imparted. Are you following? That's the reason. If you have the faith already, do you need the word of knowledge? Come on, I'm not getting your feedback. Do you need the word of knowledge? That's the reason for everything. No? I was about to say something. I remember now. The more the faith, 
I've explained, right? So the more the faith, the less the stress Jesus has to go through to help you. Listen carefully. That's why I said someone will listen to this audio. I repeat, someone will listen to this audio and receive what somebody who sat down here waited till the end of the meeting and was still looking forward for God to do. Jesus was actually meaning to go to that man's house. That was his intention. The man stopped him and said, I am not worthy for you to come. Speak a word from here. Do you notice he saved Jesus' time? Yes or no? How long do you think it would have taken Jesus to get to the house and back to wherever he was going? I'm sure you know every trekking was not ours. When you say they went from this place to this place, this place to that place, sometimes it's a day's journey, right? So imagine he saved Jesus 24 hours wastage of time because he simply what? Believed. I'm wondering why Jesus, who knew he can send a word, still walked according to that person's words. Are you seeing how much stress Jesus is going through? Your prayer is counting according to the measure of what? Faith. The laying on of hands. Everything you are doing is counting according to the measure of what? Faith. Hallelujah. Only believe and all things are possible. Quickly, let's go back to what we're saying. I said, sacrifice is greater than what? Prophets. So I walked up, or he walked up to me, put the face oil on my head. Please give me a handkerchief. Let me demonstrate something. All right. Two, three people, please come. Wait, 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 wait. Hallelujah. I won't do that kind of thing in Uniben. Because Uniben is a very wild campus. We say two, three people, please come. You are in serious trouble. Hallelujah. Two, three people. Two, three. Okay, everybody stay. Let's just go ahead. Let's not waste time. All right, so. Listen, listen, please. So the other instrumental is there. It said, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop. So we went ahead. I said, just small, all right? Don't drag it from me. Just tap, tap. Receive it, just there. Receive it, just there. Receive it, just there. God bless you. You can go back. So, when they did that, as far as they were concerned, they have what? If received. Went upstairs, greeted my dad. My dad said, hope you realize what happened to you today. I said, ah, I know what happened to me today. I know what happened to me today. God singled me out. Out of the crowd. When the meeting was over, about to share the grace and release such prophetic word. The matter of David is coming upon you now. The Lord will give you songs in the night. Songs that will set the captives free. Songs that will change the world. I said, Amen. Amen is not hard. Are you following? That night he waited. He did not come. He didn't come. Next day slept again. He didn't come. I thought it was my sleeping position. So I slept different. The sound did not come. Are you following? And months passed until a year after I finally had sense. I asked the Holy Ghost the stupid question many people ask. Why is it not happening? What will Jesus do for us again? He has given you all things that pertain to life and godliness. Died, rose again, gave you the name, gave you the blood, put you on the throne. Beside everything has been done, far above privacy and powers. They will not ask you a question again. So he spoke to me very nicely. He said, Lawrence, is it now I will be teaching you that you give birth to my promises? And it dawned on me, shut down for one month, and things started happening weeks after. The rest is history. There could be somebody here who has been shouting amen for 10 years now and has refused to give himself or herself to the dealings, to the things that will make those dreams and prophetic words come to pass. I declare over your mind, you have sense now. Yeah. 
So what is greater than prophecy? Sacrifice. Meaning, if I didn't call you out, because many people actually feel bad, why am I never ever in my life I've never fallen down? Sir, is there a problem? You just feel weak. You don't know how to reply to such questions. Yes, some people think that there's a problem. They don't fall down. I know there are many people here. All manner of people are here. So, please just forgive me if I'm speaking at a... Are you following? Are you following now? All right, please. Let me answer every question. So, the summary is no matter how dramatic it came, you know, how dramatic the experience was, how dramatic the delivery was, until there is a what? Response of sacrifice until you respond, you won't see it come to pass. So. There's nothing like what God will do, He will do. I know some people's Bible will have it Philippians 40, verse 23. What God will do, He will do. Or in the one we are all reading, there is no such thing as that. So it means what God has declared. Look at Simeon, told Simeon, you will not die until you what? See the salvation of Israel. There was another Anna in the same temple. The Bible says she became a widow from after her virginity, about eight years, right? How many of you are following? No? And then went on for how many years? Four score and four years. Four score is about 80 years. Four years. So depending on the way you're calculating it, if it was 84 from the age of 20, I used to think it was 64 before. If it was 84 from the age of 20, my God. That woman, the Bible says, did not leave the temple morning and night with fastings. Let's not believe that it is marathon fast right let's hope that it was, she was breaking in the evening right no, are you following there are certain things in the bible we just keep reading because it does not make sense yes or no for example David at 17 grabbed the lion removed the sheep from the mouth as if it was an Hollywood movie we were watching and smote the lion to show you that it was not a mistake when a bear tried him again cut the beer and slew the beer. We'll go on and say, for example, children, David is a man of faith. But proof that you don't believe it is that the same confessions David makes, you are making it, yes, quite all right. But if today, right now in this hall, we hear, oh, you have a zoo, right? All right. We hear, what's the name of the lion? There's no lion there. I know they used to have names. You guys don't have names. Okay, let's assume the name is Johnson. And they have announced in the public PA systems of the hostels that Johnson has escaped. And everyone should please remain in the hostels. But you are so hungry for God, you came for this meeting. Are you following? Are you following now? So we're all in this meeting. For some reason or the other, John Sin was hungry for God as well. You don't want him to be hungry for God, right? All creation is groaning, yes or no? So what's the problem with John Sin? So John Sin is hungry. He didn't plan to do anything to anybody. He just came to come and sit down and pay attention to the word of God because he's what? He's hungry. I'm sure you realize that you will see believers push other believers towards Johnson and fly out. Yes or no? Because last, last, you're not the slowest runner in this place. So if somebody will die, it's not me. Are you following? 
When you meditate like that, because that's meditation, it now dawns on you that David was not a normal person. Yes or no? Because most of you are not 17. You are not 18. You are not 19. How does an 18-year-old boy not free the sheep for the lion? The lion is hungry. He will eat now, yes or no? The lions eat grass. He doesn't plan to kill anybody, just one sheep. And he goes. If you tell your father that the lion came and killed a sheep, will your father not thank God he did not die? Yes or no? How many of you, your parents will say, What were you doing outside even with the sheep? Don't go out again for the next. Are you following? No matter how he hates you. I know we say Jesse, I mean, what was his name again? Yes. Did not like, you know, David. He was probably the son of um, adultery or something like that. But no matter how much he hated that boy, I'm sure you will not allow lions to kill him, right? But that boy gave so much value to the sheep. He wasted the lion, wasted the bear. So when he was standing before Goliath, he was not speaking the by faith like many of us say by faith, right? He meant what he was saying with the whole of his heart. The result would have shocked him if when he threw that stone, Goliath did not fall. Did you get what I said? What is greater than prophecy? Number two, consciousness. I'll just stay on these two and then I'll begin to push to a close. Hallelujah. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Hallelujah. Satan does all he does to shift your consciousness. Your consciousness is what you truly believe can happen to you or cannot happen to you or to happen through you. Your consciousness determines your experience. That's why we preach Christ consciousness. If people were truly hearing it, this whole campus would be too small. Hallelujah. It's not in the number of messages that are on your hard drive. It's not. Don't make the mistakes we have made. Until you have a living, potent, personal work with Jesus, all these other things are not going to help you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Ah, are you hearing what I'm saying? Still on the matter of sacrifice. Two people, one was prophesied to, the other was not prophesied to. This one begins to respond, you know, to the prophecy by giving himself or herself in the place of prayer, the word of God, fastings. Oh, sorry, it was not prophesied to, but began to respond, right? Some funny things I used to do back in the days, and I still even do once in a while, is copy and paste sacrifices. The Bible says, follow them who through what? Faith and patience what? Obtain the promise. How do you follow somebody? How do you follow somebody? Paul said, follow me as I what? So you will be following the person on the road, Abby? How do you follow a person? How do you follow the person? Aha. So when I hear this person did this before this age, I go ahead fire on. I heard this person did that before this time. I fire on. I hear Pastor Benny Him by the age of 23, went on 90 days. I planned my own. Did it. 2016. I heard that day, Pastor Deboe did this. I planned my own. I do it. And just keep on following. Whatever did them that made them hear this while I'm waiting while I'm waiting for... Are you getting what I'm saying? You don't have to follow me. Oh. Hallelujah. I'm just saying the two, three weeks you are wasting, waiting for... People's lives are instructions. Ah, some of you are not hearing what I'm saying. Ah, 
people's lives are prophecies. Look at the whole scripture. Was it not people's lives? Was it not people's lives? There's something I don't want to touch, but I will touch it. So when you say word over experience, and when you are saying word over experience, you are not explaining what you are saying. What somebody else is hearing. You go to the Bible and you read Abraham's experience. You read Isaac's experience. You read Jacob's experience. Yes or no? And you keep reading experiences. Samson, Jephthah. Go ahead, go ahead. Gideon, who else? Joshua, Moses. Go ahead, go ahead. Eh? All the prophets. Was it not experiences you were reading? When Jesus came, he now explained though, through his life. Because we said the word came and became what? flesh. So we are saying that, and we say it all the time, our lives should be the Bible people are reading yes or no. So when you are saying word over experience, be careful. What we are saying is don't set a standard because of your failure in your experience. Are you following? But people's lives are prophecies you can read. Are instructions you can receive. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Everything has been said by my brothers. It will shock you how many people your life is designed to reach. Some of the experiences you are having, you have no business experience in it. It's because of those you are going to reach. Are you aware of that? You have no business with some of those experiences. It's because of those your life is designed to what? Reach. People who will never believe you understand until they hear what you went through. Are you following? depression we have faced it again and again and again and again two years straight knowing anybody in my room because of what depression what led to it carry over i am very sure there's somebody in this hall who the current things that you are going through is making all your service to god meaningless to you and you are wondering why god will not just move in that situation are you following so if I don't open up on those things and make you realize that that does not define you at all, though. if I can go back to my past, I will slap that boy and help him understand that even those that are with first class in Nigeria in the first place, you finish master's, finish PhD, and see be searching for a job. Consciousness is the reason why you will not fail, though. Some of you are catching this very slowly. So if you are succeeding and you are still not conscious of the fact that everything you lay your hands upon is blessed, you will finish with a wonderful grade and still be frustrated. Yes or no? Don't assume what you are conscious of. I'm going to start saying some things about that. Don't assume what you are conscious of. Ensure that you examine your heart and be sure that when it comes to this matter, I believe God. When it comes to this subject matter, I believe God. Hallelujah. So in every subject of your life, you are in different classes. We exalt and honor people because of one class where they reach PhD and other classes they are still in primary two. Ensure every area of your life is what? Changing class, changing level in light. Light is in degrees, light is in levels. You can't command more than your light can. Are you hearing what I'm saying? One thing that God will help us to stop doing is assuming our measure. Thank God for the mercy of God. And when we are speaking like this, we are careful so it doesn't sound like God has not done all things. He has done everything that needs to be done. We ensure that you are not assuming the measure of light you have about what he has what? Already done for you. So yes, you can do all things. How much light do you have about that statement? 
that determines how much of the things you can what you can do. Hallelujah. So on the matter of consciousness, for example, prophetic words come. Satan does not like us, so he has plans. When he plans things, prophetic persons speak it, right? Sir, I saw in a motor car you were sitting inside and you had an accident, the first one. The second prophetic word, sir, please be careful on the road. On these days, this and this is going to happen. The third one, so I was praying, please, if you can, please avoid ministration between now and this particular time. All those people might have had God, as it were, but those prophecies are still subject to what? Ah, to what? Pay attention to this next statement. Depending on your consciousness, a person who had God can be speaking a lie. Had God, quote and unquote. I don't want to go into that one because there are many voices. You can pick anything. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I don't expect God to speak to me in a location I don't belong to. Yes or no? The same God that told you, don't move at 10 p.m. can tell the next person by your side, move at 11.30 because for you it is dangerous for him it is dangerous for those people that want to come and meet him at that time are you following two different people that heard God's voice accurately and so you can be preaching to him and telling him be careful I heard God this is how he came the angel appeared tapped on my shoulder he said Lawrence 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 I said yes 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 don't go don't go don't go as dramatic, as, dramatic, as dramatic as it is, is he so that your level of what? Consciousness. Remember a drama king that came prophesied to Paul one time? Do you remember? Remember a drama king that came prophesied to Paul? I said drama king because he didn't deliver it normally. He said, listen carefully, everybody. Let me explain what's about to happen to the man that is going to Jerusalem. I was not there, but I suspect. He might have given the prophetic word and Paul was still doing as if he's not moved. So he said, please give me rope. He gave him rope. He tied his hand, tied his leg. This is how they will bind the man that's going to what? Jerusalem. Everybody started crying to show you the effect of the prophecy. Ah! Don't go! Paul, don't go. But because of the consciousness Paul was working with, he has experience. So, if you stone me, I die. I wake up again, continue. I will finish my course. Do you know consciousness will ensure you free destiny? Ah, is somebody hearing what I'm saying? I'm suspecting it's like 70%. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So every bad experience you have ever had, listen, the first time it happened might have been a mistake. But once it happens the second time, third time, your own consciousness is sponsoring the occurrence. So once the first experience takes place, what is Satan going at? Your heart shifting. Once you can believe that it is possible for this thing to happen to me, you have engineered, you have finished the process. The cycle will continue. Are you following like I said, don't assume consciousness. These things don't knock off him for five minutes. Don't assume what? Consciousness. These things don't knock off him for five minutes service. There are things you will wash off your brain after three weeks of giving yourself to that light constantly. Are you following? On the matter of protection, for example, I didn't know where the confidence used to come from. I just knew that no evil shall be for me. Consciousness is not pride. It sounds very similar. When a conscious person is speaking, are you following? It sounds like what? Pride. You are going for administration. Many of you who have given yourself to practice, you are going for administration. You are telling somebody the power of God is going to be very strong today. You have not reached. And they are wondering how does it know it's going to happen like that? Like, Kai, today is going to be very crazy. And you get there and it happens like you said it. 
It's not just because you are prophesying it. It's because it's now in your what? Consciousness. There are things happening to many people here that are being engineered by your what? I'm just using one word to explain. That's a man thinketh in his heart. You see. The fact that you lose your fire is in your what? Consciousness. Because something is telling you that because you are not feeling like praying this morning, you have lost your what? Your prayer life. Realize that you are a prayer machine. It has nothing to do with the way I feel like. You think every morning we feel like praying. That's what you think, right? I know that's what many of us think, right? How many hours does Pastor Daniel pray? Guess. 12 hours. Every day, right? Have you right? Hallelujah. One lady told me in faculty of law, I was still a student at that time. My seatmate. She said, I know you don't have time. You're always praying. I said, how many hours do you think I pray? Hey, God. She said, like 20 to 24 hours. Kai. I was so ashamed because... No, I'm talking about many years ago, not now. That's why I'm sure. If we don't do these things that we're doing, many people will think this thing is not, it's not reachable. Ah, is somebody hear what I'm saying? James had to start from the fact that Elijah was a man like what? Like us. Or else, there's no point trying. Yeah? Which fire? From where to where? It's for Elijah's. You are thinking you believe he was a human being. Right now, can you imagine Elijah poo-pooing? Try it. I'm, sh- I'm showing you we don't meditate. You have not actually internalized the fact that he was a human being. I'm proving to you. Imagine Jesus. You can easily say he's a human being, was all human, all God, all this, all that. Can you imagine him using the toilet? Go ahead. Go ahead, the savior, the man of war. Listen to, look at him now. Imagine it. Does it feel like a sin? Does it feel like a sin or not? Please don't, don't imagine it, alright? But how many of you agree that he used the toilet? Do you see that many things are in the realm of what? Mental ascent. You actually don't believe it. I'm saying all that to say this now. I didn't know divine protection was in my consciousness until this day in Abuja. We were going, you know, to the house after a meeting, and the thought came to my mind: What if the vehicle just veers from the road now? I said, What will I do, safe? What will I do? Will I shout Jesus? Will I? I didn't. I sincerely didn't know what to do. The thought just came to my mind. Within about ten seconds, the car left the road. And I started laughing. I started laughing. I laughed, 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 laughed. It was funny to me. At the end, the car came back into the road. People were looking at me like, wow, that's how to respond in that kind of situation. So I myself, it was like we're two now. I said, Lawrence, hope you are saints. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. You do not remember the name. The blood. You are laughing. He who sits in heaven, what does he do? He laughs. Hallelujah. So, why? Why? If I know what I am surrounded by, why do I need to respond like that? When I know where I'm sitting. Yes or no? So, consciousness determines the way you respond to the kingdom of darkness itself. You've heard the stories now. Was it speaking those words that Satan appeared to and shook all the window and all the... You've heard those stories, right? And he woke up and saw Satan in the room. All the cotton flying off everywhere. Wind all over the place. And it just is... And he slept. 
Another one that came to his house saw the whole place scattered. Ah, ah. Knew that it was devil. Was angry, locked the door, and said, Before I come back. That was all. Somebody else who experienced a scratch in the dream wake up and testify in church that Satan did not kill him. Yes or no? Two of them are different levels of what? Consciousness. A devil that should come back, not angels. No. You that scratch me. Number one, we have another appointment tonight. If you know what an insult that is, you'll be ashamed to testify about it in the house of God. Things that are not even in the New Testament. You can't imagine Paul addressing witchcraft powers. Fighting against believers' destinies. Can you see that kind of thing? But it's a reality today. Oh, yeah, so why? Because as the faith kept on falling, like Jude said, from generation, it has come to a place where they cannot sleep with somebody and you can wake up with the semen on your body. I'm sure you've heard these stories, right? You think it's not real until you see somebody who has experienced it. And then you wonder. These things don't follow what we read about, right? See, man that is the honor and is not conscious of it is nothing more than a beast that perishes. So you can actually die like a chicken with all power in heaven and on earth residing in your spirit. Do you hear what I said? So that day I realized something was going on. What's wrong with me? I started trying to, if I was acting in pride, I wouldn't be telling you I was shocked. I myself was shocked. I did not, I was responding like that. So I began to trace back and I realized that when I was in nursery school, we were confessing every devotion, every morning um, assembly ground, Psalm 91 from beginning to the end, every day for years, nursery and primary school. And it dawned on me that in those years, it entered my spirit. No evil shall be for me. Neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. And Satan does not like those who are causing problems. So this matter of protection, I'm sure God knew. He loves us so much. He knew we are going to need it. And began to install it quickly in our spirits. Are you following? So how did he try to challenge that consciousness? Last year, he did to come. In one, in one trip, I had ten visions of accident. The first one came. I jacked up. Okay. Slept off again. Saw the second one. Saw the third one. Can you imagine such bombarding? Bombarding my mind. Because the more charged, pay attention, I'm about to say something. The more charged you are, the faster your thoughts come to pass. I know Tegas, the video call, yet to venerate Gistodine Shaka. I'll say this in passing. You can't imagine how many ministrations have been called for just by desiring. So you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Just by desiring. Sometimes I want to check on somebody. So I'm coming to your city. I'll come. I'll check on you. 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 November. Next day, sir. Your ministry has blessed us. Sir, we'd like you to come to our school. We mentioned the place. I said to myself, that's why I said something in passing. If you are not charged, it's not sure for you. <laughs> oh no, God, the way you are holding your teeth. It's as if <laughs> you have done plenty of things. If you are not charged, you can hear the voices of stronger spirits. And I say stronger spirits, I'm not talking about demonic spirits, I'm talking about believers whose desires have become the voice of God to many. Hear me and hear me well. Praying to get needs met is the last reason for prayer for me. Oh. Ah, Holy Spirit. Can we go further in this thing? The more charged you are, 
The faster what you desire comes to pass. It becomes the voice of God through dreams and visions. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why I had to vow as God was giving grace to press. Lord, I will not make people a copycat of myself. We are trying hard. It's still looking like it's happening. Everybody will be trying to do what's right. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They will be hearing what God told you as what God told them. How can you explain a believer, blood washed, God has blessed you, anointed you, put you at his right hand, done all these things for you, and you sleep and wake up with a dream that the purpose for your life is to be ushered in church. The reason God died for you so that you can be what? Usher. You saw it. As you got to church, somebody confirmed it. Usher. Usher. I'm sure you ushered men to their destiny. Say, yes. Usher. If some of you know what destiny is, you will have a serious argument with the voice that has been speaking with you. And wait, 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 before you say the next one, I have a challenge. You made me for this. You made me for this. You made me, the voice will stop talking. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? I learned this recently too. That's why I must ensure that I am desiring what he desires because I can end up with 10 years of my desires coming to pass and I did not touch anything in my scroll. Is that clear? That's the danger of it. You will plan meetings that will be successful that God did not send you to do. Did you hear what I said? Ah, somebody's not hearing what I'm saying, you know. And many people will see themselves supporting you to plan a meeting. God did not send you to plan. At a level that almost anything you touch begins to be established. At that level, ask and take in 12 years of successful ministry. They found out you had just literally crossed into the first phase of ministry. And Jesus told him, Many of my servants don't even get to the first phase <coughs> before they die. Sorry. Before they die. Those things leave me wondering. That's why I'm convinced. One of the most important reasons to stay charged is to ensure that your spirit is alive to trap the voice of God. Is that clear? Is that clear? Let me conclude now. I was saying something before I... I was describing a journey, right? So on my way to Cano, the enemy began to what? Bash me with all manner of thoughts. So I can partner with him with my what? Consciousness or imagination. The first one came, second one, third one, fifth one, sixth one. At least ten of them were hitting at me. I imagine the car scratch a trailer. I imagine the trailer hit us. I imagine the car. Thump. As I closed my eyes, slept. I wake up from a dream of accident. I can't clear my mind. Ah, I say, yeah, this guy means me today. Oh. That's the warfare. I hope you're hearing what I'm saying. Ah. While that was still going on, the driver did not know. Lord Jesus opened his eyes and he saw two angels flying on the left side two angels flying on the right side and two angels at the is this bonnet now? yes, bonnet, right? Yeah. and they were crossing swords together he looked back, he was hearing the voice look right, look left, look front, look back he looked back and he saw an angel with the face of a lion on the boot so he started crying. I just woke up and saw his eyes watering through the glass. So I said, ah, driver is crying. I'm seeing visions. Is he seeing himself going? So I said, my dear brother, sir, Shekosi, I notice that your eyes are watering. Are you crying or is eh, what's happening? He said, you can't believe what I'm seeing. You are seeing something on this express road. At this point, I'm trying to calm down and make this guy not frustrate my anointing. Are you following? I said, my dear, what are you seeing? 
He said, I'm seeing, I'm hearing voices and I'm seeing things. Ah, no, I drive to, I drive this car. Can you explain what's going on? Park and explain. He said, I had a voice that said, look. And I looked and I saw two angels. And they described everything he saw. Ha! Achalaka! Hello, Vela! Hello, come here, man. Listen. I said, step on the accelerator. Turn down, fire the devil. God did that to strengthen my word. The reason for everything you ever see in this meeting is so that you can become what? Conscious. Until you are conscious, you have not been what? You have not been helped. So right now, I want you to see everything that has been declared by my brothers and everyone who has stood here as past tense. Not what is going to happen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Ah, oh, who are you? I want you to see it as what? Past tense. Never see a day in your future that you not be on fire for God. That day is not coming. I'm sorry. And if it is pride, leave me like that. It does not mean days might not come that you feel as if you're not even a Christian again. You feel as if you don't love God again. But we don't walk by those feelings, my dear. I am a fire. This will keep your walk with God straight and established and not haphazard. Are you hearing what I'm saying? After the powerful meeting, something happened. Some of you have those questions. I'm very sure they are here. Plenty of people who have questions like that. After a meeting like this, I'm scared of, I'm on fire. But when I go after a while, this happens, my dear. That's the problem. The fact that you can see that day coming is why the day will come. Tell your neighbor, that day does not exist for me. Can you say it one more time? That day does not exist for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So as you pray, the Holy Ghost, the brothers are coming up now, so we can just bless everyone. Thank you, Father. Listen, listen. Every time you spend time praying in the Holy Ghost, please, don't forget this in your life. Never leave your mind blank. Never leave your mind what? Blank. Never go without a pen and paper or a phone to write what God is saying to you. You should be worried that you spoke in tongues for one hour and had nothing to write. There's a problem. Um, the reason for that is because instead of focusing, you are looking at everything that did not send you a message. In a meeting like this, someone can be arranging sleepers, arranging chair, while speaking to a robot shoe, robot shoe, robot shoe, robot shoe, robot shoe, robot one hour gone two hours gone your spirit is edified but your soul is still blank untransformed unrenewed you have forgotten that the transformation is dependent on renewal of your mind so as it's happening in the spirit your soul must what are you hearing what I'm saying so what am I doing as I'm praying the Holy Ghost I'm expecting doors to open all over the nation, all over Nigeria, all over Africa, all over the world. Listen. I'm praying the Holy Ghost and I'm receiving a call from, from Germany. Unknown number and it is a foreign call. Ah, foreign number. Hello. Hello, is this Lawrence Hoyo? Say this is Lawrence Hoyo. Please, can you forward your email address? We have an invitation for you. We're calling from Germany. Blah, 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 blah. This church. 
have spoken with this person, this person, this person. They linked us up with you. You have been a blessing to us. Your songs have blessed our lives. The president would like to meet you when you also arrive. Please send forward your email address so we can go ahead with the protocols. Okay, thank you so much. God bless you. All this is happening where? Ah, it's happening where? That's how God made the world do. As you are praying, if you are not seeing, you will see it happen, no? Listen, listen. The good part is, listen, please listen to me, oh. Please listen to me. Please listen. Understand is more important. Ah, God. There are 13, about 10, 13 pictures now of people drawing. That's just a small, you know, something just illustrates what I'm saying. Drawing of people drawing me, that like God said I should draw you, some give us on the room, and so on and so forth. I counted them last week and I said, Who, which minister did I offend with? Picture. Why is everybody drawing me? All of a sudden, the only God is taking us on a journey, so He'll be helping you to see. He reminded me of days when I will be looking at pictures and wishing for when I can see what I look like on pencil. Are you following? I used to imagine, ah, Kai, what will I look like? Who will I pay now? They say it's 15,000. They say it's this. Amount. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll, I'll meet somebody and tell the person I'll snap a picture. I was just thinking about it. I'll forget. Procrastinate, forget. It was just a desire to see what. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's just an example. On the Senate coming, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, ah. I said, I, I think it's okay. Oh. I now know what I look like. Oh. It's okay. Oh. I'm realizing more and more that you must pay attention. Guard your heart with all what? Diligence. For out of it is flowing all the issues of life. So when you see something happen nasty in the dream and you wake up, the way you are responding is determining whether or not it will come to pass. You can wake up and laugh at him. Hallelujah. Let me finish what I was saying. I was saying something now. Sorry. I was saying something now. Please remind me. If I got distracted, please. Find <laughs> me so. Who remembers? Consciousness. Consciousness. Yes, yes. So as you are praying the Holy Ghost, the call comes in. You arrive there with the jets. Get to the stadium. They are all waiting for you. 50,000 people. All this is happening as you are here in OA. You speaking in tongues on the chapel ground. Are you following? You are here. They have always told you that as a woman, when you marry, you lose your fire, you calm down, everything reduce, and so on and so forth. This is a woman here who is also on fire for God. Another woman who is on fire for God. I remember your testimony of raising the dead, and I said to myself, a married woman on fire for God, and somebody is a single, already expecting the day when you will not be on fire. What you should be doing as you are speaking in tongues is see those children and you are tonguing with them on retreats. And as you are praying, the Holy Ghost, listen, listen. As a father, you have gone to work or you have gone for ministry, you are tired, you came back and you are so tired, you are dozing off. And your seven year old son is tapping you, Daddy, wake up, pray. Daddy, wake up, pray. And I say, I'm, I'm tired, that's why, that's why I slept up. That is stand so that you, you we are on the 12th hour we are going to 24 and that boy has not sat down he still pays it to our flow there is no way it will not come to pass go ahead pray the Holy Ghost and see things see things now